Hey, it's Drybear. Today, we're going to continue our series of covering every weapon in the First Ascendant, and we've landed on the last dagger, which is consequently the last handgun for us to cover. And just like most handguns, it comes oozing with style. This one looks like it's almost got like a fuse in there or some kind of spark plug uh, with some extra damage on it. And this one has a pretty cool passive that as you defeat enemies, you will stack up a crit rate buff into uh, getting five stacks. Once you've maxed out the stacks in the weapon, your next bullet will have increased damage and also will stun the target. This is also a great weapon to run with Albion Cavalry Gun because you'll be able to uh, get a stun off of Last Dagger and then switch over to the Albion Cavalry Gun, which can stun lock as long as it's shooting a target that is stunned. So that those two weapons kind of pair really nicely together. And we finished running the numbers and this is actually confirmed the strongest, highest DPS output handgun in the entire game. It beats out the final masterpiece, mostly because the final masterpiece's passive is entirely random. You could have a good upswing or you could have no buff at all. It falls off based on random procs, which can be really inconsistent, whereas the last dagger actually has a pretty consistent one. As long as you're eliminating enemies and stacking it up, uh, you'll get some extra bonuses there. But what's cool about the last dagger is it has some really unique effects that make it stand out against other weapons. It doesn't have the same kind of DPS output that like some of the more popular weapons do right now, but if it does receive any amount of buffs, this could easily become one of the more mainstay weapons and it has probably the highest weighting for firing Fiesta that we've had on any weapon so far in this list. So what's so cool about the last dagger? If you look here, when you eliminate enemy, you will get a stack of patience and that stacks up more and more. Every stack that you get will stack up 8% crit chance at max when the weapon is fully upgraded. Uh, all your unique, unique ability has been upgraded to the max level. And then when you get to max stacks, you will get a massive buff, which gives you even more crit chance and it gives you 150% firearm attack. Now, there is a downside with this. So you'll see as we eliminate enemies, we stack up that passive. So that now is up to two stacks, up to three stacks, up to four stacks. The major downside with this weapon is that when you get to five stacks, you will have the buff until the moment you strike an enemy one time. As soon as you hit an enemy one time, it will stun them and remove your buff. So this huge, massive buff that goes up to 150% firearm attack, it goes up to a max of, I believe, 62% crit chance. All of that gets put together on that one bullet. As soon as you hit an enemy, on hitting an enemy with enhanced rounds, patience is reset. You lose all your stacks, it stuns, and you start stacking again. If that for some reason they change that, it could become a monster of DPS output. But because you lose all your stacks and instantly reset, you don't even get to use that buff for a full round, like a full like uh, magazine. It makes it a lot harder to have value on that. But one of the cool aspects of this passive is that the crit chance that's listed here for this buff the crit chance that patience provides is additive. We actually don't have very many additive crit chance buffs in the entire game. Really, we have Enzo and we have Valby that can provide additive crit chance. Almost every other crit source, including firearm crit chance on weapons, all of it is multiplicative, which means it takes your base and scales it up by that percentage. Most weapons have a small percentage of crit uh, chance by, to begin with, which means multiplying that by a small value doesn't yield very much. But the crit chance that you get from this weapon weapon is additive. So you can actually get 50 to 80% crit chance with the last dagger, which is incredibly high. And it varies because you build up crit chance, you shoot that one bullet, it drops back down to zero, you lose all your crit chance, and you have to work on building it back up again. And a small thing to note, there is a hidden passive with this as well. So when you get up to five stacks, for your one bullet until you hit someone, you actually have max recoil, which is kind of bizarre. It doesn't even list this on a weapon. Uh, a viewer ended up pointing this out to me while we were testing, but you can get five stacks on this. So there's two kills, three stacks, four stacks, five stacks. And you'll notice that it actually takes my recoil and drags it up to max. So while I have five stacks, my recoil is crazy. But again, as soon as you hit an enemy once, the buff is gone, the recoil is gone. And this is true even if you hold the whole thing down. As soon as that bullet strikes an enemy, all your crit chance, all your firearm attack, and that recoil debuff, it's gone in an instant, and you restart over again. Now, for this reason, you'll see that this weapon has a very unique set of weightings for it because it can 
can actually raise its own crit significantly. You get a much higher weighting on things like concentration priority, as well as better concentration, even target detection, commando marksmanship. A lot of these are starting to move up in the weighting because it can modify its own crit that well and that effectively. And there's one thing that I want to point out about this as well, is that it is uh, one of the only weapons that has had firing Fiesta at a 20% or higher weighting. Um, so what you could do with this weapon, since it doesn't scale to the same level as some of the other, like it, it's not an Assassin's Edge, it's not an Eternal Willpower, it's not a Tamer, it's not some of these other ultimate weapons like Thunder Cage or Python that can do crazy DPS output. It's not terrible, but it's not the best either. What you could do is you could run Firing Fiesta on this weapon and use it as a sidearm. And what I mean by that is that when you run Firing Fiesta on a weapon, the buff actually doesn't fall off when you swap weapons, which isn't true for most buffs in the game. But if you run Firing Fiesta on this, and this will go on cooldown, but you can shoot, reload, and you see the buff is active, I can switch to another weapon and I can use that weapon with the buff active. So this is one of the few weapons that could use that as a secondary firearm. So you could have Firing Fiesta, just swap real life fighter for Firing Fiesta on this weapon, bring up your stacks, use a whole magazine, and when you reload a trigger Firing Fiesta, go back to your main weapon or go back to whatever weapon you're using and deal damage that way. And if you run out of main rounds or you just wanna use the last dagger real quickly, you can pop it up. But again, the big challenge with this uh, is that when you you when you when swap off the last dagger, like almost every weapon in the game, you lose all the stacks you had on patience anyways, which makes it really weird. I wish this could be like the, the game ending perfect sidearm where you get your stacks. You say, I have stacks here. If I swap weapons, the buff is gone. So I have to keep the last dagger out. So if you have really high scaling on this plus firing Fiesta, what you could do is try to get as many stacks as you could with a single magazine. Then when you reload, you go to a different weapon, but it just makes it a lot harder to use. It does make it for an interesting sidearm if you want to just swap over to it occasionally and get some damage out of that as well. So the final build that I would use for this if you're using as your primary weapon would be action and reaction, of course. Real life fighter for extra damage. Use the elemental enhancement off weakness because we know elemental enhancement, unlike most elemental effects scales off of your firearms attack we're increasing that so much it always is a, is a great choice to use and you get a 33 percent elemental damage increase when you're firing on a target that is weak to the element that you're shooting at then we have concentration priority and better concentration for crit damage because we have so much crit chance with this weapon specifically reload focus for more crit damage and reload time recycling genius for more reload time max rounds so we can maximize our chance of getting those stacks and then better insight as well stacks up because it's going to be scaling off of our unnaturally high crit chance off that as well. This is the weight on the left side of the screen here. You can use this to swap mods in and out if you want more accuracy or more reload or you want movement speed. You want to put in the kinds of mods that will be a DPS loss, but it makes it feel better for you. If you want to make it feel better, you can use this weighting here to figure that out. The stat priority is firearm attack, and for the first time ever, crit damage is the second highest weighted stat. Then elemental damage from firearm attack, which is only elemental enhancement at this moment. Reload rounds, crit chance, fire rate, and weak point. Weak point is awful for this weapon. Bonus versus attack for rerolls. Like your best four rerolls for this weapon would be bonus versus colossi or bonus versus a faction. Crit damage, firearm attack, and flat elemental damage. And then just under that is going to be crit chance if you want to put that in there as well for extra extra weighting and that's going to help you decide what you're going to re-roll for this weapon overall. A super cool weapon, one of my favorite parts about this is when they do this for weapons, a lot of the weapons in the game have this, not every weapon does, but a lot of the ultimate weapons do, but you'll see how like my, first of all, look at the reload animation, that spin flourish is so cool, like that is just a really cool, oh I have reload, I have a really cool flourish on my reload which makes this weapon super cool, but on top of that when you kill an enemy, do you see the glow on the weapon? It has a digital hologram readout for the buff stacks. So when I get two stacks, it fills up one more bar. When I get three stacks, it fills up one more bar and the barrel starts glowing red hot. Four stacks, it starts going red, green, blue, glowing even more hot. And then when I get five stacks, it's glowing. The whole thing goes orange. It starts flashing and pulsating. There's a 100% number on it. Like you see how it says 100% and the barrel is, is like red hot and it's like pulsing. I love when they do the little things like that. It makes the weapon so cool. So that's the last dagger. I'll leave this down below. Let me know what we should cover next. If you found value in today's video, leave a like down below. Leave a comment for the algorithm to help this video get seen by more people. And don't forget to check out my other channels for other content and other stuff and other things.